just from a pieces standpoint, you know, it kind of starts with connectivity, much like the GSA, you know, Watson Explorer is able to connect to multiple different data sources. What you have on this screen is just an example. There are more, so for example, the latest version of Watson Explorer just added new connectors for Box and uh, Microsoft SharePoint. So we connect to uh, structured data like in uh, multiple databases, unstructured data, um, Hadoop, email, PDF files, Word documents, etc. On top of that, we build indexing search and analytics capabilities. So the connectors feed into a parsing and indexing capability. Uh, again, similar to the GSA, we're not moving the original data. So the data stays in place, but what we do is we read it, we parse it, we add metadata, and then we provide and create indexes. And it's the index that is stored as part of the product. And then as you do searching, the index is used, and as you go through your search results, if you want to go back to the original data, there's always going to be a link that allows you to do that. Same from an analytics standpoint. The analytics is going to be based on the indexing, but you always have the ability to go back to the original document. And then finally, you know, management and application development on top of it. And the application development part of it is important. One of the things that we do with this product is we give you the ability to do a, you know, a basic search application. Very clean, very customizable. But we also, as you'll see in a couple of slides, give you the ability to build more complex applications that not only leverage the search result, but can interface with other systems at the same time. Three primary capabilities built into Watson Explorer. Enterprise search, what we call 360 degree business applications and content analytics. So the enterprise search, literally that, um, You'll see more, you know, we'll demo this first, but gives you the ability to search through data that's on-prem or off-prem, structured or unstructured, combined. So you can create search collections, for example, that is using, you know, on-site SharePoint and a cloud-based box folders and be able to search all of it at the same time. 360-degree business applications, allow you to take that search data and build an application around it very quickly that allows you to drill down into that data as well as to be able to connect to additional applications. So for example, if you're doing a, um, a help desk solution, you might have the search capabilities going through and searching through different data that's available to a, a help desk analyst like uh, product manuals, FAQs, blogs, forums, trouble ticket systems. And at the same time, you might have a, uh, another widget on the page that shows past calls from a specific customer that you're working with and another widget that goes into your CRM system and tells you what kind of um, entitlements that customer has so that you get a view of the person that you're working with at the same time as you're trying to answer their question. Content analytics allows you to take that structured and unstructured data and begin doing complex analytics, especially around discovery of new insights.